Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to the Skyrim Stormcloak roleplay or let's play, whichever you prefer to call it. It's going to be called the roleplay, just because that fits better with, like, YouTube. Um, in this video, we're going to be doing a message to Whiterun, which is basically when we're going to... Well, let's not spoil it too much. In the last video, we completed the Jagged Crown, and before we get too far into the video, as always, make sure if you enjoy the series or the video or the channel, leave a like and subscribe as it all helps greatly. We are... As of me recording this right now, we are two subscribers away from 500, which is really cool. It's a goal that I never thought I would honestly reach. I mean, I know that sounds like self-deprecating, but it's true. There's nothing else I can really say about that. It is true. Um, we have to head to Whiterun, so I guess I'll fast roll to the Battleborn and farm. Um, also, the next stream will be on Monday, not Sunday. Um, this video is going up on Saturday, so two days from this video, it'll be 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm gonna wait for this rain to go away. Okay, nice bright and early, well, I guess it's not really a bright and early morning, it's like a cloudy, foggy early morning. But anyways, yeah, like I was saying, this stream will be 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday night. I'll probably stream Monday and Tuesday night. But we are doing a Witcher 3 Wild Hunt what is it called? Death March New Game Plus over on that Twitch channel, so make sure to go give that a follow if you want. And that is actually pretty interesting. I've only comp I've beat The Witcher twice. I've basically 100%ed it my second time. I mean, I didn't like totally 100% it, but I completed almost every single quest and all that sort of stuff. The thing I didn't do is like the treasure hunts, basically. Which I know, kind of. I wish I did. I mean, I still could. I still have the save. I could just go back and do it. So it's probably going to happen eventually. But it just hasn't happened yet. Anyways, I will probably see you when I get through Whiterun and up to the Arl. Okay, we have finally made our way up to Dragon's Reach. I forgot to say anything about it when we got to it. But I realized that there's a unique piece of dialogue you can choose when you're coming to talk to the Jarl. Of Whiterun without ever being to Whiterun when you have Ulfric's axe and it's like, you know, you get asked by the um, guard at the gate, like, you know, halt, city's closed, with the dragon's about, or whatever. And you can be like, well, I have a message from Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, or something like that. I wonder if I can say the same thing to the Irolith. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgrath is not receiving visitors. I just... You can. I have a message from Ulfric Stormcloak. You'd better speak to the Jarl, then. Yes, I better. Well, I trust you have something vitally important to tell me. Important enough to interrupt me in the middle of council? I have a message from Ulfric Stormcloak. And I'm sure he told you it was urgent. Well, he's not the only Jarl in Skyrim with problems to deal with. Whatever it is, it will have to wait until after I've finished dealing with this dragon situation. What? Really? Oh. What? I guess it's kind of like pigeonholing me into saying this even though it's not true. You were at Helgen when it was attacked? By Ismir, Irileth was right! What? No, none of this what happened. What? Okay, this is just some weirdness the going on with the live another life thing. Oh my god. It's in the most immediate danger. Dragon is lurking in the mountains. The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'm trying to wage war. Will you guys like listen to me? Stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yeah, send your troops away. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. And I um, won't forget it. No, Here. not really. As a small token Imperial of armor. There is another thing you could do for me. Are you so really gonna make me do this quest? Particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. This makes no sense. 
Okay. It looks like we're gonna have to do ble what? I get. I should have seen this coming. I should have done this beforehand, but I really didn't know what was gonna happen. Varengar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the old thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use. I hate Farngar's voice more. acting right here. Well, I'm sorry. It just sounds so forced. I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Okay, just tell me what I need to do. To begin your adventures. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow, a dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Okay, then. It's a priority now. You should join Anything the we can use to fight this dragon or dragons. We need it quickly, before it's too late. No. Of course, Jarl Balgruf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White run what is going United. on right now? I do not like this. May the gods watch over your Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak asked me to deliver this axe to you. Did he now? Huh. The man is persistent. I'll give him that. But until that dragon's dealt with, Ulfric's just going to have to wait. For now, I'll hold on to this axe. But it's a tenuous piece at best. Now, I believe you have some business to conclude with my court wizard. Okay, so it's actually... Oh my lord, I didn't know that was going to happen. But I guess it is in the storyline, it's not just... So he will accept peace with Ulfric for a brief moment while you figure this out. That is... Honestly, it's kind of interesting, but it's also sort of annoying because I was... Hoping I wouldn't have to do this. Now we're going to have to spend the next two videos probably doing this. Because I don't want to cut it out. It's actually part of the quest. Like, it's right there in Message to Whiterun. Assist Jarl Balgriff with the dragon threat. It's just something I didn't really expect to happen. How much gold do I have? 1,176. Okay, then. So, I guess I'm going to go out to the stables. Buy a horse and chug my way on over the Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess. See you when I get there or something. It is so very strange. Oh boy. So while I was traveling on the road, I stumbled upon this Imperial group. Um, yeah. Free the Stormcloak prisoner and share some items. Oh, I don't really have anything useful to give to him. Here, take this shield. <laughs> and this helmet. And you can take this armor. <laughs> I don't have a weapon, so good luck. But let's kill these Imperials. Alright, they have been slain as they should be. I will... Hop back on my horse and continue my little journey. You're welcome, dude. Okay, so I've almost made my way to Bleak Falls Barrow, but here we have some bandits blocking our way, and as a true son of Skyrim, I feel it's only right that I eliminate this threat. And apparently a flaming arrow to the knees just does, I don't know, a third of your health? Oh, come on. Oh, and he's returning fire with the same thing. You're dead. How are you speaking? Honestly, I know, like, Stormcloak armor is honestly pretty cool looking. I think it looks better than the Imperial armor. I think the only thing that's weird about it is that it's also the same as the, um... What is it? Um, Windhelm guard armor. Which was a little lazy, but I guess at the same time it makes sense. 
Okay, last bandit. This adventure through Bleak Falls Barrow is probably going to be a little more cut up than I would normally do it. Oh, she fell through this hole. Um, basically, I'm just going to show the action, probably. Or, no. Nah. I'm going to have to stretch it in the two videos, probably. Because I don't really like cutting it up. I like to show everything. That's kind of the style of channel. I mean, this is a Let's Play channel. You know, you got to see everything. But, honestly, I'm just still kind of, like, upset that I have to do this. I was hoping to go through this and it'd be like, you know, I am just a soldier. Nothing special. But now it's pigeonholing me into becoming Dragonborn, even when I don't really want to. But, oh well. What can I do? Nothing. But I'm also kind of irritated because I wanted to, like, you know, storm white run. Okay, more bandits. Oh, I did get a level up on the way here, just killing some wolves. So, we'll use that after we clear these bandits out. Oh, I blocked. You'll be so much easier to rob when you're dead. No! I like that the, you know, him saying dead and me killing him lined up. Okay, that sounded a little psychotic. Health. Um, our one hand is probably max leveled up right now. Power attacks cost less. Yes. I mean, I'm really just looking for damage. I'm just a shoulder. <laughs> I'm just a soldier. Makes me sound like I'm saying I'm just a shoulder. Don't worry. Okay, what's going on in here? You know what? I'm not gonna eavesdrop. I'm just gonna kill you. Come here. Oh. Um, no, not necessarily. I guess what I won't do is I'm not gonna, like, loot a bunch of the stuff. I'll loot, like, the boss chest at the end, but... This character has no need for gold. It's not like I'm going to be buying houses or better equipment. I'm a Stormcloak. I'm going to wear Stormcloak armor. I'm going to use a steel sword. Unless I get gifted a better one. Which there is a chance I do. But I will take the potions. That is for sure. But I don't really know how to lockpick. So now what I will do is I'm going to watch this guy kill himself. On accident, of course. Go on. It's a learning moment. Okay then, so I guess... I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that the combination for this is snake, snake, whale. Who'd have thunk? Played Skyrim too much. But it is a fun game. Can you really blame me for playing it this much? And honestly, recording these videos has kind of made it more enjoyable to play. And here I go looting. After I said I wouldn't. It's just so, like, impulsive. Like, my jumping habit. Although, I don't think I have been this video. I mean, I could wholeheartedly not notice. But who knows. Take all that. Luckily, I think this is the only portion of the main quest I'm going to have to do. Um, my name is Hal Bjorn, not Bjorn. But I guess close enough. Oh, wounded frostbite spider. Come here. Oh, I don't do enough damage to this thing at all. Okay, not too bad, actually. I don't think... No, it's not going to come anywhere close to killing me. Oh, you're a dark elf. You know what that means? Die. I'm a racist. Only for the game. Only for the game. It's my character. He's a Stormcloak. Um, I should stop making jokes like that. I'm gonna get myself in trouble or something. Okay, I got the Golden Claw, which is needed to open the Hall of Stories. Spoiler alert. Although, if you didn't know that... Like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Skyrim is such a niche little game at this point, you know? Although, I guess, can you really call it niche when it's on, like, 17 different platforms? I mean, you have... PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PC, PS4, Xbox One, PS5, Xbox Series S and X, the Nintendo Switch, the Alexa, Samsung Smart Fridge, 
I mean, you'd probably play it on your phone somehow. Wouldn't put it past anybody. Um, I bet one day you'll probably be able to like play it on an ebook. You know, just get your Nook or your Kindle. Play Skyrim on there. Okay. More Draugr to kill. I am really just beelining it right through this place. Just kill everything I need to kill and get out of here. Okay, chill out. Leave me alone. Oh, time that up perfectly. Burn, please. Why does it seem like the damage they take is just capped by the fire? It's like his health was going down and then it just stopped. Oh, I managed to block that in time. Man, my guy knows one finishing move. Stab, spin, slice. Man, he's all out of breath. It's okay, buddy. You've only had to fight countless undead. Oh no, another one. I mean, that's the same finishing move, just in first person. Because first person can't show the 360 properly. You can, um, show that perfectly, because if you do a dual-wielded attack, power attack with both hands in third person, your character will spin around, but if you do it in first person, it's just doing it from the front. Your character doesn't spin in first person. Unique little tidbit for you, if you didn't know that. Okay, what's next? Draugr on the bridge, right? This will become a troll if you wait late enough. Like once you're around level 20, I think, or something like that, it'll be a troll. Oh, Draugr too heavy? Yeah. Okay. I really don't care. Where are we? Oh, right here, before the loading door. This is probably where I'm going to end the video, actually. It's um, not where I was expecting the video to go, but what can you do? I can't really do any... Well, I could have. I could have done this beforehand, but I didn't want to be Dragonborn. But they're forcing me to be Dragonborn, so I guess I'm going to be Dragonborn. And we'll finish this video off with another level up, and I will put it in the health again. And go into light armor. Um, but yeah, the rant aside, if you guys enjoyed the video and the series, all that dandy little stuff, make sure, don't forget, leave a like and subscribe for more. All helps me grow the channel. Like I said, two away from 500 probably will break it the day that this gets uploaded. Um, I don't have anything planned for 500. It's, I don't know, it just happened so quickly. I never really thought about it. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.